Hey there! Palicos are cute and provide some comedic relief while hunting our particularly tough monster. But I think palicos are underrated and worth more in hunts than you may imagine. My name's Tails, welcome to Giddy Fox Gaming, and I'm going to tell you why you should give your trusty palico more attention. Palicos, your sidekick on hunts that, at first glance, doesn't seem to do a whole lot. Yes, you can equip them with weapons, armor, and gadgets, but do they really contribute that much to a hunt? I think that palicos are underrated, especially when you're doing a hunt on your own. I played almost every hunt through Monster Hunter World and Iceborne solo, and I was very happy with Punchy, my palico. The moments where Punchy trapped or put a monster to sleep were game changers most of the time, and I frequently call Punchy the MVP of my hunts. Let me go through the gear that makes for a very beneficial palico and see if I can convince you that they're more valuable than you think. Let's start with the gadgets, as that's their main contribution to hunts. There are six different gadgets you can unlock through expeditions in each of the zones in Monster Hunter World. Each gadget provides a different experience for you on your solo or duo hunts and can greatly change how a hunt goes. I'll run through each gadget quick and rank them all to get you an idea of how beneficial each one is. Vigor Wasp Spray this is the default gadget your palico starts with. Early on, this gadget provides you with a quick healing interactable, and as you level it up, it will bring healing to you and nearby hunters at random points of the hunt. At its highest upgrade, it will prevent you from being carded one time, which is incredible. If you're doing a hunt with another player and both of your palicos are running the Vigor Wasp gadget, that's adding two extra cards to your quest before failure, which is great insurance. I don't want to get in too deep with everyone on my thoughts on insurance, but let's just say that if you have a hard time staying alive in hunts, this gadget may get you the one extra chance you need to succeed in a hunt. Overall, once you learn how monsters attack and carding isn't as much of an issue, you can cancel your palico insurance and get something more useful. B rank. Flashfly Cage. This gadget has been a lifesaver for me in most hunts. I was very happy to unlock this gadget from Ancient Forest Expeditions as it allowed me to have a few more times where the monster I was hunting was stunned or knocked over. This gadget will allow your palico to leave a flash bomb trap, which is the same as firing a flash pod from your slinger. It's great for the large amount of flying monsters in this game, and the blind from it is pretty decent in Iceborne. Level it up a bit, and now the gadget lets your palico lay shock traps, and this has been such a clutch use for me. The extra stun traps add a much needed damage spike, or gives you just enough time to sharpen or heal quick. And if you plan your hunt well, you can use the shock trap to capture monsters. And that's not even everything, because if you level it up all the way, your palico now makes boom bug traps, which is a blast damage net that will knock monsters over I'm when they swollen. walk on it and do a burst of damage. This gadget is dope. The one major drawback of this gadget is that it's much worse when hunting elder dragons, but the blind and blast damage still happen and still aid you in the hunts with them. Easy S rank. Shield Spire. Giving your palico a giant shield? Sounds awesome to me! This gadget is made to turn your palico into the tank yelling obscenities at monsters to taunt them into attacking that big shield they're holding. This gadget is unlocked in Wildspire Waste Expeditions and provides a way for you to have the heat turned down more often against aggressive monsters. At the lowest levels, it taunts monsters and provides a block to your palico against monster attacks. Level it up a bit and now your palico can shoot more rude remarks out for taunts while your cat bonks monsters in the head for stun damage. Eventually, those bonks allow your feline partner to knock out a monster for some good damage spikes. At its highest level, the Shield Spire places an inflatable dancing dummy that taunts monsters and gives you some breathing room. Overall, I just don't think the Shield Spire provides enough value. Your palico already takes some hits for you through a hunt, and doing more of that just isn't worth it in my book. F rank. Plunder Blade. So, you want to make your cat a thief and steal some monster parts for free. The Plunder Blade is the gadget that provides a lot of monetary value, as well as ways to accelerate your crafting of weapons and armor. The Plunder Blade is unlocked through expeditions in the Rotten Vale, and can be a great way to start hunts with brand new monsters you've never encountered before. At its lowest level, it allows your palico a chance to steal monster parts from the monster you're hunting. These materials are the same parts you would collect from breaking parts or succeeding on quests, which is just upping your rewards on every hunt. Level it up a few times, and now your cat can throw a boomerang that will drop a shiny white orb on the ground, which contains a monster part. This essentially gives your palico two ways to earn extra parts. At its highest level, your palico will be able to jump on a monster and stab it a bunch of times. This will drop gold orbs on the ground, which contain high-value trade-in items, which you sell for a bunch of zenny. The highest upgrade is particularly great for early Iceborne to spike the amount of zenny you need to do big upgrades. 
I think the Plunder Blade's value is most useful when you first encounter a monster, as you can get parts even if you fail the quest. This will give you a leg up on crafting something early to be able to best that monster. The Plunder Blade is also nice for when you don't need any extra help on a quest and just need a surplus of monster parts. The trade-in orbs are almost worth nothing later into Iceborne because of how much time you spend picking them up. A rank. Almost through the gadgets here, but I just wanted to stop and say thanks for watching. It really means a lot, and I'm truly glad you're here. Giddy Fox Gaming is, as of recording, a very small channel with high hopes of providing helpful and fun Monster Hunter videos for fans to enjoy. A like on this video would help this small channel in a huge way. Thanks for your support. Now back to the video. Coral Orchestra. So you're a fan of the hunting horn, but don't have a fellow hunter to use it on hunts with you. Well, enter the Coral Orchestra, the gadget that lets your palico play some sick tunes to provide you with buffs and debuff the monster you're hunting. Unlocked through expeditions in the Coral Highlands, this gadget at its lowest level will give a buff to hunters in the area, a mix of defense, attack, and status resistances. Level it up a few times, and now your palico will play the bongos to give a wider variety of resistances and give your weapon access to more critical attacks. And at its highest level, it will whip out a big gong that will cause monsters to be flinched when standing nearby. The Coral Orchestra gets much more value if you hunt with a second player, essentially doubling the buffs it provides. If you've got a partner, definitely consider running this gadget, but solo I don't feel like it does enough to be more beneficial than the attack and defense demon drug items that you get. It's fun to see the cat belt out some tunes though. C tier. Mialotov Cocktail. Some cats just want to see the world burn. The Mialotov Cocktail feels like what it's named after, a big bomb that just does a bunch of damage in a few unique ways. This gadget is great for hunters who just want damage spikes and cool theatrics with their pyro kitty. The Mialatov cocktail is unlocked through expeditions in the Elder's Recess, and at its lowest level grants your palico a bomb to throw at monsters. The bomb does damage and just helps you with getting the monster defeated quicker. Its next level will have a slinger ammo shot at the monster you're hunting. Essentially, it's another bomb, but this slinger ammo shot has the unique property of copying the same element that your palico's weapon has. And at its highest level, you get to witness the Meowcano, a shower of fireworks that do consistent damage to the monsters around it, and it's actually really handy for taking flying monsters out of the sky. This high-level gadget looks super cool and will do a pretty hefty amount of damage if you can keep the monster you're hunting in its sparks. The Meowatop Cocktail is a great gadget for bursting monsters and ending hunts quicker. I think that it's valuable at any point in the game since all you need as an experienced hunter is more damage to finish hunts faster. S tier. Beyond gadgets, Palicos are also able to equip armor and weapons. Their gear works mostly the same as hunter gear, except that the number of parts needed to craft their gear is much less. You also only have three slots to equip, one weapon, a head armor, and a body armor. They all have stats just like hunter gear, with a wide variety of options including raw damage, status ailments, elements, ranged and melee weapons, resistances, and more. And don't forget that the gear will all look different based on what monster parts they're made out of. This armor and weapon system can get complicated if you want it to, and for those who are looking to min-max their hunt speeds with the Palico, you can customize their gear to keep them fighting for as long as possible and doing the damage or effects you want them to. For the average player, it's not a huge deal to equip whatever armor pieces you want to a Palico, as they never leave the hunt or get carded. If they get knocked out, they take a quick nap and have a short cooldown before they join back in the hunt. The weapon they're equipped with does matter though, and it's worth considering and changing up here and there. Specifically weapons with Blast, Sleep, and Paralysis status. As your Palico attacks, they'll build up the damage threshold to trigger the status of their weapon. Hitting a monster for a bonus spike of Blast damage, which many of the monsters in the game are very weak to, is a great boost for your hunts. Or if you're running a heavy hitting weapon like the Great Sword or Charge Blade, your cat can put a monster to sleep with their weapon, which allows you to get one hit for free that deals double damage. On the flip side, if your Palico runs a weapon with Paralysis, they'll stun a monster just like a stun trap, and this can help your fast hitting weapons to get a bunch of hits in for free. Normally your Palico will only trigger these statuses once, maybe twice in a hunt, but that one moment is usually really clutch and can turn a hunt in your favor at just the right time. I plan on doing some experimenting with severing weapons to have Palicos help cut off tails, as well as running weapons with elements to complement the elemental weapon I'm already using. It's pretty hard to pass up a free sleep on a monster, though. 
Our little feline friends have a lot of value if you equip them for what you'd like more of in a fight. They're the ultimate support unit, and if you view them as a value engine instead of a carry or main damage dealer, you'll be really happy with what your palico can provide you. And besides all the gear you can equip them with, they're really handy in taking the attention of a monster away from you here and there, which can get you a much needed heal or sharpen in the middle of a stressful hunt. Palicos, double S rank.